Niggas cap thought they fool. Uh, they one don't make a difference. Uh, Hopping that bitch get loose. Uh, she ain't even scared of the drifting. Uh, all I love is that juice. Uh, she said I be in my feelings. Uh, stand ten toes like ooch. Won't let me cap in the boot. YouTube, man, what's up, man? It's been a little minute since I've been on the grind, but we back grinding. If y'all don't know, man, this is my new reaction channel. Um, this is where I'm gonna be posting a lot of my reactions at. You feel me? We finna get straight into it. Uh, blog channel, you feel me? Main channel, link in the description, man. It's finna be a long journey. We got a lot of reactions to drop till we get monetized into a thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let's get straight into this. 23. An investigation was initiated by the Wausau Police Department in a male individual who it? made contact with an undercover Facebook profile. Jeez. Jeffrey Super, age 65, initiated conversations with the undercover profile, 65? unaware that it was being operated by a police officer posing as a 15 year old boy. The officer quickly. Hold on, bro. You 65 trying to talk to a 15 year old boy? Emphasized to Jeffrey several times that he was indeed 15. Jeffrey in turn acknowledged this fact three separate times during their conversation. Jeffrey soon explained he had multiple fetishes, such as golden showers, the act of getting pissed on. Oh, that's been peed on. Oh, yeah, this feet. nigga nasty. At one point, he also asked the officer if he should bring some methamphetamine. He eventually agreed to meet with the fake 15 year old boy at a club. Bro, what? This old nigga really different. Like, what type of life? I wonder what his life was like when he was young. Business, ...which was arranged by the police to use. About two days from the initial contact, Jeffrey arrived at the predetermined meeting location. But before we continue, let's hear from today's sponsor. We skipped the sponsor, bro. I'm ready. Someone's leaving the lot. Seatbelt on. He saw my message to come in. Whoa, he's about to go meet him at a... What? Let me know if he goes to that door. I got to duck down. If he goes towards the other door. If he does that, there's potential he sees a squad car. Getting out. Why don't you ask him if he's... Walking in. My door. Just get him right away. Pete. Get him go. right away. Yeah, hurry up. Put that down, please. Put that down, please. Turn around. Put the hands on your back. Put the stuff down. Hands on your back, please. They ain't playing no games with him yet. Cuff that nigga. Just relax. There's people like this that we see every single day, bro. And we just don't know that they like this. 1, 2, 1, 1, 95. You're under arrest. Huh? You're under arrest. Yeah, where you? You already know why he arrested, too. Can't call that place. Oh. Any person that's gonna poke me or stick me or anything like that? I wonder did he bring any, any drugs? Any sharp objects on your person? Any weapons? Uh, no. Oh. Got a knife on him. Phone. He was also carrying an auto parts box, which contained a variety of items, including a prescription bottle of meth and a loaded syringe. See. He about to go down, man. Wild. And make sure y'all be safe out here, man. You feel me? This is the evil world we live in. I want my subscribers to be safe. You feel me? Definitely you that's watching. Cop car won't even turn on. Just imagine your car not turning on and you in a high speed chase. Like what? That's a big cop, bro. Like, they be letting anybody become officer. He is not catching nobody, bro. Maybe them bullets might catch somebody, but this right here, you're not catching nobody, bro. Let's be honest. Um, and started blowing hot air. I don't know if it overheated or what, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe I'm good now. We'll see. Alright, sir. Let me walk out here, please. Where's this car? I'm very Asking some questions. Like, I hate when they arrest you and don't ask you no questions. Um, like, why you do it? Let's see, please. Just for sure. I understand it's uncomfortable. You can't I'm gonna walk it off. No, I can't. How long are you gonna be out? How long? Okay. Yep. Ah. There you go. How do you do this? Just that other leg up. Uh, yes, my this would be very classic for me. Can you slide over a little bit more, please? We're not going far. Uh, yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to make excuses. I know I'm guilty here, but I can't deal with this. I understand. We're just going a few blocks. Okay? Uh, you can deal with it. You know what I mean? yeah. Whatever you're going to do to that 15 year old boy, you feel me? You can deal with being in that cop car, nigga. Fringe and food and stuff. And, and I want to get the TV. Additionally, multiple adult bedroom toys were located in his car. What? Yeah. Yeah. He was trying to pull some freaky shit. Bro, we got to get a quick little thumbnail, bro. This nigga weird, bro. Alright, that should be tough, man. Yeah, bro. Y'all be safe, bro. Nigga had sex toys for a 15 year old boy. Like, you really in the boys? They about to do him dirty in jail. Jungle juice solvent cleaner. So, just to get a picture of him? Yeah, That's what a what? I just want to make sure there's no bubble. These are blue ducks or gel. He even had chains. Uh, huh? Hang on just a second. decide to do it now like and he said he got a significant other like bro what why it went this far i have no idea um you know what was it a sex drive um knew he was a minor mm -hmm. you know um I mean, you had, you had intimate knowledge of what we call boofing, which is anal you know, insertion of methamphetamine via syringe. I've heard of it. I, yes, okay. yes. I mean, you, you described to him yes. how it's done. Yes. Um, suggested it was a safer mean. What's boofing? I don't know what that means. Is that like smoking meth? Y'all let me know. Congestion or, or use? Yes. Walking through your knowledge base and how you know all that if you're not a user yourself. Correct. So... What would you just say? Walk me through your knowledge base and how you would know all that if you're not a user. Oh, just from uh, this friend of mine has been telling me about it and a safer way of using it because um, he always does it, you know, in the vein. And I, I always said to him, I says, but, you know, what? I mean, your, ter your terminology used uh, suggested that you're, you're very familiar with methamphetamine. And well, I'm familiar with it, yes. Okay. Just from hearsay from... Hold on, I think this would be mean. Yes, I will help you do it. A liquid syndrome without a needle insert. Oh, so basically you just 
Hold on, insert in your. Oh, you put it in your. Put it in the butt, basically. What? This is crazy. Well, you know, um, you're standing. I would you would you pass uh, your analysis test today? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had it for, for about mm -hmm. years. Okay. Um, I'm scared to take it. Where did you get the methamphetamine from? I don't know the name. John. I. Oh, I don't believe you. Who, who did I? Who did ask the question again? Who did you purchase the methamphetamine from? Okay. And don't lie to me. Do I need to answer it? I want you to answer it. Is it going to help me? It's not going to hurt you. He says he's gonna help me. It's gonna show some cooperation on your end. These are significant charges. Okay, huh? you're under arrest for possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine, child enticement, and using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. Where were you when you bought it? Oh, um, I I met him and I, I guess you know I met him. Where? Oh, where are you? Um, the last time I met him. Why are you lying about your personal meth habit? Pardon me? Why are you Why are you being dishonest about your use? I don't use it. I don't use it. As we can see, you feel me? He ain't telling. I'm surprised. I thought he would have said something. I, I'm not lying about it. I mean, you want to test me or or I do not use it. You just buy it to share? Um. Are you selling it? No. Okay. So, um, obviously your intention today was to share it. Share. Yeah, that's a good word. Yep. But not for myself. But it's, it's yours. So you bought it. Who did you buy it from? You said you bought it. From him. But he couldn't afford it. That doesn't make any well, sense. I, I don't know who he got it from. I gave him the money. So he wanted meth. You gave him the money to go get it. Yes. So why do you uh, why do you have the meth? This is this isn't adding up. Help me understand. I, I have it. Yeah. I wasn't going to give it all to him. What are you going to do with it? I would like your consent to search the contents of your cellular phone and make a download and download a copy of your phone. Um, with that, I would I'll be seizing your phone as evidence, but I would like consent to to search it and download it. Would you consent to me searching your phone? What if I don't? Then I'm going to write a warrant for it. But if I go through it with your consent... And well, I, one way or another, you're going to get it, right? I, I, I don't, be honest with me. I won't speak for a judge, um, but I believe that there's sufficient probable cause to write a warrant to search your phone. Go ahead and search it. Okay, what's your passcode? I, it's your face. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, there's, a, there's a passcode option. Oh, uh, shit. Did that work? Yep. Let me ask you, when I go through your phone, is there going to be other individuals that you communicate with about methamphetamine or other under... We should have pulled some young thug. Take it to trial. Person's you know what I mean? No. He's already in the wrong for what he did with the child predator and shit. You feel me? But like, letting him go through your phone, you should have just told him no, bro. Yeah, both sexual acts. Can you offer any explanation as to why you think things went as far as they did today? I don't know. It never, you know, it, it, it just personally was online and I uh, was Keep chatting back and forth, and you know, it made it sound legit. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess that's how you get hung up in the shit like this. Um, <laughs> why I did, or I, no fucking idea. You know, it, it shouldn't have. When I got up this morning, you know, I, was, I thought, what in the fuck are you doing? The person admitted they were not a baby, no, and I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Bro, a minor is just crazy, bro. Anybody that's really trying to get in the pants of a minor is really crazy. Definitely at this age, bro. You supposed to... At this age, like, you still could be a leader in a way, you feel me? But, like, once you, like I said, around the age of 30, 40, 50, you feel me? You supposed to teach us right from wrong, you feel me? You supposed to be a leader. Teach us how to grow in life. Once you get about 60, you... St I mean, anybody that's just above you can be a leader. Let's just say that. But this nigga is not being a leader. He's being a predator. You feel me? That wasn't right. And that's weird. <laughs> Are you sorry for what you did? Pardon me? Are you sorry for what you did? Oh, I got halfway here and I almost turned around and went back. And I should have. What am I sorry I did? Well, yes, definitely. Um, you are going to be booked in the Marathon County Jail. Uh, you're going to see a judge on Monday. What was your plan when you got to Midas today? Have some fun. <laughs> Can I expand on that? He said, has some fun. Golden shower, feed stuff. Play around. Yeah. 
whatever whatever that other person wanted to do. I guess. And you said this is the first time that you've uh, you've considered or, or gone so far as to meet up with a juvenile. Oh. Yes. Never even never even would have considered. During the interview, he stated he is employed as a school bus driver for all ages. What do you do for a living? Uh, whoa. Uh, semi retired drive school bus and uh Work at the maintenance so, you know, 10, 20, 30. Oh, about to go down. that much down here. How long did you go to school bus for? Oh, I did many thousand years ago, but then I went on the road in uh, five years, four years, five years. Current time you've been driving is about five years, but you did it prior to that? I time. did it way back when my kids were young, yeah. Right now it's four or five years. What do you think should happen to somebody in your shoes? Hey, you got kids. Kicked in the ass. Think that's appropriate punishment? Okay, can you ask? Um, it was. Uh, my past is is been excellent. Yeah, I have nothing on my record. I'm nothing. There's nothing wrong with being having a significant other. There's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with having sex with your partner. Or I don't. I don't even care if you're promiscuous. Yeah, but um, do you understand the dangers of methamphetamine? Yes. Well, do I? The dangers? Yeah. The risks associated with with methamphetamine or the addictive qualities of it or anything like that? No. What do you understand about methamphetamine? What do you think it is? It's a high. It, that's all I know. I don't know the dangers. People die from it. Well, from overdose or anything, right? Have you ever heard of a methamphetamine overdose? Heard of it? Yeah. You know, what you happen to me and I kick in the ass and... Uh... Sheesh. <laughs> Hopefully it's all comes out of it. I mean, my fear is public now. It is going to be somewhat public. Hey, comment down below, man. What y'all think bro going to get? Like, how much time y'all think he going to get? Yes. My fear is how many people, other people you've, you've hooked up with in this situation. Never. I don't, not a bone in my body believes this is the first time. This, honest to God, this is the, I, uh, I have no reason. Is your cell phone going to tell us a different story? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. No. Child. No, nothing. Uh, communication with minors. No. Delivery of drugs to other people. Mm -hmm. We do what's called a forensic download of the cell phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they pour through it, every single file. It, it paints a really good picture for us where you've been, yep. patterns of behavior look like, who you're communicating with, what drugs That's crazy. Looks a like, cell phone can do that. partners look like, all that stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Cell phones are modern day computer. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, you're going to be transported up to Marathon County Jail under those three different charges that I, I told you. You got to put those cops back on. Yes, sir. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's see if they tell them how much time we got. Review of chat logs, web searches, images, and videos did not uncover additional relationships with any underage persons. Let's see what they're hitting with. Jeffrey was charged with felony counts of using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime, child enticement, giving selling drugs, and possession of meth. He was eventually released on a $5,000 cash bond. Since this incident, it appears he had also moved to a different state. She, she got up through. Well, listen, man, if y'all enjoyed that, make sure y'all smash the like button. We really finna run it up over here, man. This is the new reaction channel. We gonna react to everything, man. Um, Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Till then, it's your boy. I'm safe to you guys another day, man. We on the road to 100K. Let me for dead and now I'm the one Can't trust little cuz, I'm bringing a gun Living too fast, it used to be fun My mama just asked if I'm seeing my son I'm in the trenches, I live in the birds My eyes just call me, she reading